Hi guys, welcome to A Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. Today we're in Buttermere. I've met up with Adam in the wild and we're going for a decent walk to do some training for the Cumbria Way, which as you all know is upcoming. Uh, four nights, five days, while camping all the way and we're doing it to raise money for the Great North Air Ambulance, which supported my mum so well in the last few weeks of her life. So myself and Adam are taking this really seriously. We're both training really hard in the gym um, and you know, we're gonna give ourselves the best chance of completing this challenge. So yeah, we're looking at around about a nine mile walk today up over Robinson Whiteless Pike. Get some good miles under the, uh, under the boots and into the legs. Uh, unfortunately, we aren't wild camping on this one. Adam needs to be back early doors in the morning. So we're at the Sykes Farm campsite. It's cost us 14 quid, so a tenner for the tent, four quid overnight for the car. Um, we aren't set up just yet, we're gonna set up when we get back. So there's the main pussycat himself, Mr. Adam in the wild. You know where it's at. I know where it's at, you little pussycat. Yes, come real lad outdoors. Woohoo! <laughs> never change, mate, never change. Never. So yeah, we're just in the car park at Sykes Farm. We've got a lovely little uh, Beck just bubbling past us. And pretty much, Anywhere over here is where we're going to be setting up tonight, but that is Robinson, I believe. So we're going to be um, making our first ascent up that. So yeah, a little bit different to my normal videos. Um, and I normally like to bleep out or remove any kind of profanity from my channel. But unfortunately, on this one, the word campsite has to stay in and I know it's a really bad word to use awful f awful word to use for us wild campers but like I say Adam's got to be away early doors in the morning so it's going to come in useful for us to be fair and of course that means when we get back we can go and sit in boozer can't we mate I might have a cheeky gin or two a <laughs> cheeky gin or two so yeah we won't be on the pints tonight we're not going to be doing that with daft because like I say we're in training we're both in the gym really hard watching our diet uh, calorie control, we're trying to get into a calorie deficit, portion control, and all that kind of jazz. And trust me, as you get older, <laughs> it gets harder, man. So yeah, we're just heading out of the car park now, on our way to make our set up Robinson. And of course, we're going to be bringing you back along the way. Hopefully this mist clears and we get some decent views. We are just on the ascent up the road, out of Buttermere. Already the fog is starting to clear and we are getting a few views coming. So you guys will recognize this one, Red Pike. Probably my best solo wild camp of my life. The views were insane up there. A lovely little shot of the, uh, the gill going up there as well. Literally just about to turn right here, just off the road there. And as I've already said, Robinson is our first summit of the day. So Robinson's the first one, then is it Whiteless Pike? Uh, I believe it is, but we'll confirm. We'll, we'll, ke we'll keep you posted on the, on the way, but there's Whiteless Pike and a few others. Dale Head. Dale Head. So when we're on our way, we'll, we'll keep you posted on uh, which fells we're on, but yeah, it's going to be good walk today and good practice for the Cumbrian Way. Well, we have reached the first little plateau, <laughs> overlooking what I think is the Newlands Pass. Views are opening up a little bit. As you can see, we've stripped the waterproofs and thermal layers off. These are chilled to the air, but we are starting to sweat quite a bit. Just looking up the pass there, you can see, although the fog and the mist is clearing a bit we are going to end up in among it it is still quite a good layer up a height but Ranadale knot is clearly into view now we're probably a similar height to that i would think looking down on crummock water onto the village of buttermere itself red pike and the back end of buttermere path so far has been quite clear as you can see we're probably about halfway up to to break in the top of uh, Robinson 
yeah, just a quick five minutes break. Let the sweat evaporate, and then we're going to crack on. Right, scratch that. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> hey! we haven't broke the back of Robinson. Uh, where was it you said? Summit Moss? Uh, hard not, was it? I'll double check. We're on a moss somewhere, anyways. Uh, we did take a little bit of a detour onto what we thought was... Butter me a moss! Butter me a moss, there you go. We're on butter me a moss. We did take a little bit of a detour on what we thought, or onto what we thought was Robinson, but it's not. We're still not too far from the top though, but it's all good. It's all good training, but <laughs> we're on a moss and it's very soggy underfoot. I get why <laughs> it's called butter me a moss. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so, give you a quick spin round. So that's what we thought was Robinson up there, but up in the clag. Not too far, like I say, we're still well over halfway, but look at that. Absolutely soaking underfoot, but it's all good. Myself and Adam are feeling good, good in the legs, good in the lungs. We're having a bit of a crack, so life is good. So we're going to crack on up to the proper summit of Robinson um, and kind of got our fingers crossed that the mist's going to have cleared by the time we get there. Well, as you can see, we're right in among the clag now, uh, covering some good distance in some good time. We're averaging about 2.1, 2.2 miles per hour going uphill, which is really good. Training's definitely paying off for both myself and Adam. And Adam has just said on his video, the camera really doesn't do it much justice, but this bit here is really steep and rocky. Don't know if it'll help me going up to shore. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a good workout for the thighs. Every single step is a real big push, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a proper thigh burner, but it's all good. So yeah, onwards and to the top of Robinson. Just the last few steps. Now we're just getting towards the summit cairn of Robinson. Yeah, come to the Lake District, they said. Come and see the views. <laughs> There's a few other people up here. But that isn't what today's about. Like I say, today is for training for the Cumbria Way. To raise money for the North West Air Ambulance. I'll put a link to my Just Giving page in the description. So if you do fancy helping me out by donating, um, it'll be massively appreciated. So yeah, top of Robinson, despite the small detour. So we're just going to sit and chill here for a little bit. It has cooled down, so I'm going to put my fleece back on. And then he's on to Hindscarth. Robinson, done, boshed. And we're now following the path on the way to Hindscarth. Adam said it was 727 metres? Yeah, Robinson 737, 737. 737 for Robinson and Hindscarth is 727 metres. Pumping some good miles in. We're averaging about two miles an hour going uphill, so really good practice for the Cumbria Way this. It's proper nippy up here, we've still got a little bit of snow knocking about. Cold on the fingers, so I've had to put the fleece back on, but um, I'm trying to modulate my body temperature because I burn quite warm so uh, yeah we're just uh, loving it aren't we mate? Great this walk. Cracking Great. little walk despite the fog and no views me and Adam are just uh, chatting away which is great. You know what everything happens for a reason maybe it's a blessing in disguise that we plan today for more training purposes and we did plan to camp bottom yeah. Because otherwise we'd have just been sat up here looking at this. No views. Yeah, yeah. absolutely mate, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. So yeah, we're loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Hindscarth. Done. Boshed. 727 metres. There's not a view to be seen. <laughs> We've been up in the clag for most of the day. Look at this. The people up here but none as beautiful as a sexy pussycat Mr Adam in the wild <laughs> you know it man you know it yeah it's a shame there isn't many views today but like I say it's a training day for the Cumbria way so it's all good and me and Adam uh, having an awesome day now we start our descent back down towards 
but I'm here um, and hopefully I'll be able to bring you back along the way with more views than a white screen. <laughs> well, we're on the descent from Hindscarth. We did have about a mile pure uphill uh, after a little dip, which was hard work on the thighs, but a good workout and good practice. So yeah, we're on the descent to the lake now. So myself and Adam have just decided to stop for a bite to eat. Yes, I. Just on the sandwiches today. Chicken so, and cheese. Adam's on chicken and cheese. I've got a beef salad and a bottle of Coke Zero. So we're just going to enjoy that. And we are hoping at some point very soon to get out the clag and get some nice views. We've got a lovely walk back alongside the lake to the campsite. Sorry for swearing again. I promise not to do it too much. Um, but yeah, it's it's scram time. We've we've delayed it as uh, as long as we can. So yeah, gonna enjoy the food and then we're gonna crack on down to the lake. Finally, we are out the clag. We are just on the descent back down to the uh, lake. Very uh, very steep descent at the moment. Though it's butching the knees a little bit, but you can see a little bit of fog still isn't past us. But we are just below it now. As I pan you around, you'll see that. You can see Adam down there. You can see how steep descent this is. But we do have Crummock and Buttermere in view. And we can see haystacks now. We are still on the descent, and what a steep descent it is. Both myself and Adam struggling with a little bit of knee pain. I'll turn you around. That'll give you an idea of how steep it is. But we have found the most perfect little infinity pool. And if it wasn't for our time constraints, both myself and Adam would be in there for a bit. Well out of the clag now. Tail end of Crummock. Bottom of you in view. Lovely down here and the imposing haystacks is still well in view. Not long till we hit the uh, lake shore now and get some well earned and welcome flat walking. Uh, take a bit of pressure off the knees and we'll get the tent set up and uh, yeah I think myself and Adam are going to the pub tonight. I'm going to have a, a pub lunch and the camera's going to come with us. Why not? That brings you guys along. We'll have a laugh. Right, onwards. And we're back on the flat. Literally just crossed the road there, cut through the hotel grounds. And we're just approaching the shores of Buttermere now. It's lovely down here, isn't it, mate? It's absolutely stunning. It was a uh, good walk, that. Still, still got a bit to go, just over a mile, but we've done 7.3 7 miles so far. Yeah. But it's nice, this. Averaging just under two miles an hour, but that includes all the stops that we had for a little bit of a drink and something to eat and so on and so forth, chatting with people. So I would I would guess we're probably on the two mile an hour, which includes going up the steep hills and that as well. So we're both really chuffed with that for a training walk. And what better way to finish it off with a nice flat walk around Buttermere. So this is one of my favourite little parts of this walk. It's a little tunnel cave system. Quite quaint really. Just been called troglodytes. <laughs> troglodytes, mate. <laughs> Quality. <sighs> oh, yeah. What a welcome respite from the uh, steep ascents and the steep, steep descents as well. This is 
we're not far off the end now we're just going to go right down the shore maybe cool the faces off it water as well it's such a beautiful area man it really is <clears throat> right let's get to that campsite and let's get to that boozer utter utter devastation we have got back to the campsite all ready to set up we walk past the two boozers oh we'll go and have a look at menu no no shut till 3rd of february oh man never mind i've got food with us but we we're looking forward to some pub grub and what have you heard a bit of wi-fi but there we go so um yeah we're going to go and get set up now and i've got a new little device to show you so i'll bring you back very shortly yeah a little bit of a strange experience being on a campsite for me but if i wander around I found our pitch we're on further field and we've got some good views a few other people in field as well we've got a view of our first ascent of the day and we've got a lovely little river running past us yeah time to get set up right guys in the scarf tonight massive overkill i know but when i was packing i wasn't sure whether i was going to be camping up the top or at campsite which is where we've ended up so as i mentioned earlier in the video i've got a new little device to show you and that device is the new flex tail pump mark ii as you all know I've got the Mark 1 and since I've had it, it's been on every camp with me and it's an absolute little game changer. You're not putting your moist breath inside your sleeping mat uh, and it also acts as a light and it's just generally an all round awesome bit of kit. What they have sent me with this one is a light diffuser so it like, kind of slots into there so when it's hanging up you haven't got the bright light right in your face, it diffuses the light around your tent and generally makes it a little bit more comfortable for you. It comes with all the attachments, very similar to the first one. However, the main bit of kit itself is bigger. It's bigger and ever so slightly heavier. But again, in my opinion, very much worthwhile carrying. You get the light on the bottom. On this one, the in and the out is on the same bit. You haven't got that little bit sticking out of one side, which to me, you're very unlikely to snap it off, but it does have the potential. Again, you've got your charging port on the side and your button on the side, but two pumps to turn it on. Sorry, two presses to turn it on and then press and hold once and your light comes on and you can toggle through the brightness settings. So, you know, I've got all the figures and everything for you, but generally the battery's bigger, it lasts longer, it's got more power. And from what I've been led to believe, it will also act as a power bank but I've yet to try that out myself. So, let's have a look at it blowing up the Seat Summit Etherlite XT Extreme. That is the sleeping mat ready to blow up. I've selected the right attachment for it. Let's see how long it takes to blow up the uh, Seat Summit. Starting to get a good bit of air in it now. And I'm imagining it's going to be the same as the first one. You'll hear a note change in the pump and that will indicate to me that the mat for me is at the right pressure. Yeah, there we go. So as expected, that worked really well. I wasn't expecting it not to. Would I say it was quicker than the first one? Yeah, probably. Um, if you look at my first one, you'll see how long it takes to um, blow it up. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen for you. Is it worthwhile rushing out and buying the second version of the pump if you've already got the first one? Probably not. Um, however, if you do find yourself in need of a pump or a replacement pump 
then I would certainly recommend it. Now, Flextail Gear have kindly sent me this for nothing. They've asked me to include it in one of my videos, which I'll probably do in more than one, to be fair. Um, but as always with uh, a paid promotion or a free gift or anything like that, any opinions that I offer are genuinely my own. They won't be swayed. So yeah, I'm proper happy with that. I really am. Um, and as always, it will continue to come on me every camp that I'm going to be needing it. Now they did kindly send me a code, which I'll put up on screen here, which will give you 15% off any purchase on the website. Not just on the pump, but on anything across uh, any of the kit that they make. So if you are interested in the pump or anything from Flextail Gear, you can use the code and you'll get 15% off. Simple as that. Right, I'm going to go and continue and get myself set up. Um, and then myself and Adam are just going to have some chill time and I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Right guys, that's me back in my tent. Uh, we've met some pretty cool guys. We've been sat around the campfire, having some food and singing some songs you'll get to see that in the uh, night scene so yeah it's definitely time to get my head down so i will see you guys in the morning yes i uh, you know sunshine when she's gone Well, good morning, everyone. Good sleep. I dare say this is the flattest pitch my scarp has ever had in my life. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. This is the uh, Flextail Gear light with the light diffuser on. What a cracking job that does. You know, I was a bit skeptical, to be honest, but the light diffuser does a cracking job, man. You know, it's not in your face. So I'm proper happy with that. Like I say, you've got the discount code if you fancy anything from Flextail Gear. But I highly recommend any of these two pumps that they've that they've got going. I really do. So um, myself and Adam are up early. What time is it now? It is twenty past five in the morning. Like I say, Adam's got to get away early. He's got boxing class and stuff like that. And I need to get myself away home too. So we're going to grab a quick bike to eat and we're going to get ourselves on the road. So um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab some breakfast. I'll bring you back in the car before I sign the video off. Right, that's me back at the car. Adam's already away. Like I say, he's got boxing training this morning. So he needed to be up and away fairly sharp. So uh, yeah, it's home time. As always, we've both left no trace. You know, even though we're at a campsite, you need to take your rubbish with you. So it's time to get ourselves home and reflect on an awesome training walk, just shy of 10 mile, just shy of two miles an hour average going up and downhill with the stops as well. So awesome training walk in preparation for the Cumbria Way, which I'm really looking forward to. So once again, thank you very much for clicking on the video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as Adam and I have. So until next time, stay safe, much love from a Cumbrian lad.